Hi friends, welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to talk about checkpoint and callback services in Keras. If you are training a deep learning model, which will take hours together to train, then it is better to checkpoint your model. What happens if your training is interrupted in between? All the works that you have done still now will be lost. So checkpointing will save your model in every epoch so that you can continue your model from where you have been interrupted. This is one point where you can use checkpointing. Or suppose you want to monitor your model performance in every epoch, then it is always better to create a checkpoint. The checkpoint, using checkpoint, you can monitor either your accuracy or your validation accuracy, or you can monitor your uh, training loss or validation loss. So you can tell where you want to monitor and where you want to uh, checkpoint your model whether it should be minimum or maximum. So it's always better to use checkpointing to monitor the performance of your model. Let's come, we will see one example. So here in my model, I have created a checkpoint. So this is how I have to declare the checkpoint. I have to specify the path where I want to save my model. So this is my model uh, path where I want to store my model. And uh, which one I want to monitor is I want to monitor my validation accuracy. And I want to monitor when the validation accuracy becomes maximum. And I'm going to save only the best models. Okay, so this is how I have to create my checkpoint. And I have to use my checkpoint when I call the fit function. Model.fit, I have to call, I have to use my uh, callback function uh, with the checkpoint. Now, when I train my model, you can see in every epoch, it monitors the performance of my model. See, the validation accuracy initially is 78.90. In every other epoch, it checks whether the validation accuracy improves from the previous epoch. Whenever it improves, the model will be checkpointed at that particular position. So here you can see, I will show you where it is improved. So here you can see the model improves its validation accuracy at this point. So immediately this model will be saved in the path which I have specified. So my model is running here. You can see finally the validation accuracy has reached to 82.6. So my model is saving to this position. So uh, I can run my model uh, 200 or 200 uh, epochs and I can save my model whenever my validation accuracy improves. Sometimes the validation accuracy will improve, but the validation loss also increases. Suppose I don't want that model, then I can choose the best model where the validation frequency or validation accuracy is better. And I can load that model and I can calculate my confusion matrix or I can calculate my accuracy, FN score, etc, etc. So you can choose the point where your model is performing better by using checkpointing and callback services in Keras. Hope you like this session. Thank you for listening. Subscribe my channel to listen more such information on machine learning. Thank you.